Marie Antoinette was the Queen of France and Navarre from 1774 until 1792. She was born in Vienna, Austria in 1755 and married King Louis XVI in France in 1770. During the French Revolution, Marie Antoinette was seen as a symbol of the excesses and extravagances of the French monarchy and she was arrested and imprisoned in 1792. Marie Antoinette was born in Vienna, Austria in 1755 as the 15th and second youngest child of Holy Roman Emperor Francis I and Empress Maria Theresa. She was married to King Louis XVI of France in a political arrangement aimed at strengthening the alliance between France and Austria. Marie Antoinette was tried and found guilty of high treason and crimes against the state. She was sentenced to death by guillotine on the 16th of October 1793 and despite attempts by her supporters to rescue her or secure a pardon, Marie Antoinette was executed in the Place de la Revolution. Marie Antoinette's death marked the end of the French monarchy and the beginning of the First French Republic. Her death also had a significant impact on the rest of Europe as it served as a warning to other monarchs about the dangers of revolution and the importance of reforms. Marie Antoinette remains a controversial figure to this day, with some seeing her as a symbol of decadence and others as a victim of the political turmoil of her time. Before the French Revolution, Marie Antoinette was known for her extravagant lifestyle, which included lavish spending on clothing, gambling and personal luxuries. This lavish spending was seen as insensitive and out of touch with the needs of the French people, who were suffering from poverty and food shortages. Marie Antoinette's reputation was further tarnished by false rumours and propaganda spread by her political enemies, who portrayed her as promiscuous and uncaring about the well-being of the French people. During the French Revolution, Marie Antoinette's position as Queen put her in direct opposition to the revolutionary forces that were seeking to overthrow the French monarchy. She was seen as a symbol of the Ancien Régime and many people blamed her and the French monarchy for the country's problems. After King Louis XVI was executed in January 1793, Marie Antoinette was put on trial and found guilty of high treason and crimes against the state. Despite her pleas for mercy, she was sentenced to death by guillotine. Marie Antoinette was initially popular in France, but her reputation soon suffered due to her lavish spending and her inability to produce an heir for several years. The French Revolution, which began in 1789, added to the public's discontent with the monarchy. During this time, Marie Antoinette was vilified by the revolutionary press and accused of being a spendthrift, a political schemer and a supporter of enlightenment. After the fall of the monarchy in 1792, Marie Antoinette was imprisoned and eventually put on trial. Her trial was widely criticised for its lack of impartiality and due process and her death sentence was widely seen as a foregone conclusion. Marie Antoinette's death was a turning point in the French Revolution. In recent years, some historians have sought to reevaluate Marie Antoinette and paint a more nuanced picture of her life and personality. These revisionist interpretations have highlighted her intelligence, her political savvy and her strength in the face of adversity and have sought to humanise her as a person rather than simply a symbol of the French Revolution. In addition to her reputation as a spendthrift, Marie Antoinette was also criticised for her perceived political interference in French affairs. Although the Queen had limited actual power, she was thought to have influence over the King and to have played a role in several key political decisions such as the appointment of certain ministers and the dismissal of others. Marie Antoinette's foreign birth and her association with the Habsburg dynasty of Austria 
were also seen as liabilities by French citizens, who saw her as a symbol of foreign influence in France. This perception was compounded by the fact that Marie Antoinette's mother, Empress Maria Theresa, was a leader of one of France's main political and military rivals. Despite these challenges, Marie Antoinette remained a popular figure with many French citizens, particularly among the nobility and the court. She was known for her kindness, her intelligence and her support of the arts, and she was admired for her courage and her dignified demeanour during her trial and imprisonment. Marie Antoinette's death was widely mourned by her supporters and her memory was preserved through various acts of commemoration and remembrance, such as the construction of monuments and the naming of streets and buildings in her honour. Marie Antoinette continues to be remembered as one of the most famous and controversial figures of the French Revolution. Her life and death have been subject of numerous books, plays, films and other works of art and she remains a popular figure of fascination and study for historians and the general public alike. Marie Antoinette died by guillotine, a form of execution that involved using a large sharp blade to sever the head from the body. The guillotine was introduced during the French Revolution as a more humane form of execution and it was used to execute many thousands of people including the king and queen during the revolution.